Hello. Hello, and welcome to That's English. Today's programme is about childhood, la infancia. Look at these toys, juguetes. Oh, I like your doll, Ashley. Yes, she is beautiful, isn't she? <laughs> we start with a visit to Pollock's Toy Museum in London. And we meet Daphne Richards. Daphne works at the museum. Try to answer this question. What did Daphne do yesterday? This is the Toy Museum in London. Daphne Richards works there. Daphne, can you tell us what is the Toy Museum? It's a museum here in central London and it's all about childhood in the past, in the present and in the future. How old are the things that we can see here? We have objects from the 1600s and we have things from the Victorian era right through to the present day. And what can we see at the museum? We have children's clothes, children's toys, dolls, dolls' houses, teddy bears, games and so on. We have many different dolls in the museum. They're from all over the world and some of them are over a hundred years old. Many of them are dressed in beautiful clothes and they have many different hairstyles. Dolls are important to children of all ages. Children have always played with dolls. Good morning, the Toy Museum. What do you do here? I spend most days here in the museum. I do some office work and I show school groups around the museum. But yesterday I went to the local hospital. I saw some girls there who were very ill and I showed them some old dolls from the museum. The dolls are over a hundred years old, but the girls loved them. Do you like working here? Very, very much. Why do you enjoy your job? There are many reasons. I love the things that we have here. The building itself is very beautiful. But the thing that makes this job really wonderful is the children. For many of them, it's their first visit to a museum, and I love to see the pleasure and excitement on their little faces. Oh, children love that museum. Yes, I went to that museum when I was a child. Did you? Yes, I hated museums, but I loved that one. Ah. Oh. Did you get the answer to our question? What did Daphne do yesterday? Listen again. But yesterday, I went to the local hospital. I saw some girls there who were very ill and I showed them some old dolls from the museum. The dolls are over a hundred years old, but the girls loved them. She went to the local hospital and she saw some girls who were very ill. She showed them some old dolls from the museum. In our Same Language, Different Lives section today, we asked the question, can you tell us a special memory from your childhood? ¿Tienes algún recuerdo especial de tu infancia? This is how people from different English-speaking countries answered that question. A memory that I really remember from when I was probably about eight years old was when I went to Disneyland Paris. A good memory from my childhood is playing sports with my dad. A nice memory from childhood is when my mother and father and my sister and my grandmother and I went on the ferry to Victoria. It was a, a wonderful memory that I will never forget. My grandmother. I remember getting my first teddy bear. I was only three years old. One of the memories which I really love from my childhood is having a picnic with my parents. My best childhood memories were mainly around sport, so um, playing with my friends, being out with my friends, I really enjoyed those times. They had some nice memories of childhood. Have you got any good memories, Ashley? Yes, I remember my family holidays. They were always fun. What about you? I loved my birthday parties. My mum always made a special cake. Now, an advertisement for a school. It's a boarding school, un internado. That's a school where the pupils live and sleep. 
We join them on the last day of the year when the head teacher gives prizes to pupils who have done well. Veremos a los alumnos el último día del curso, cuando el director hace la entrega de premios. Try to answer the question. What sports did Josh and Sarah play for England? St. Martin's is a private school for boys and girls. It's a boarding school. The students live here and go home in the holidays. The students study maths, English, science, all the normal subjects. But they also learn lessons in life, being kind, eating healthy food, no sweets, chocolates or cakes for our boys and girls, and playing sport. Today is the last day of the school year, and we join the headmaster of St. Martin's. He is giving prizes to the students. Welcome, boys and girls from Year 9. Our first prize today is for Johnny Peters. Last month, Johnny won an international competition for maths. He's an intelligent and nice boy, and his favourite subject is PE. Well done, Johnny. Come and collect your prize. The winner of our next prize is Claire Southwell. Claire got 100% in all her subjects. And last year, Claire got up at 5 o'clock every morning and helped students from another school with their science. Well done, Claire. And finally, our last prize is for Josh Elliott and Sarah Potter. Josh and Sarah played for England last year. Josh was in the England football team for boys and Sarah played hockey for her country. She was also captain of the team. Of course, they passed all their school exams too. Well done, Josh and Sarah. Do you want your child to be intelligent, sporty, kind and healthy? Come to St Martin's. That school is so healthy that the head teacher gives fruit for school prizes. Qué tacaño. <laughs> El director da una manzana como premio. I always got books as prizes. <laughs> I didn't get any prizes. <laughs> well, what was the answer to our question? Listen again. And finally, our last prize is for Josh Elliott and Sarah Potter. Josh and Sarah played for England last year. Josh was in the England football team for boys and Sarah played hockey for her country. Josh played football for England and Sarah played hockey. In traditional Britain, modern Britain, we meet Hilary Palmer a teacher in a school in England. She talks about school life in the 1960s and the 1970s, when she was a pupil. And she talks about schools in Britain today. As you watch, try to answer the question. At what age do most pupils leave school today? ¿A qué edad terminan sus estudios los escolares ingleses? At what age do most pupils leave school today? This is Hilary Palmer. She's a teacher and she works at a school in the south of England. I asked her some questions about schools. Hilary, you were a student at primary school in the 1960s. Today, you are a teacher. What are the differences between schools then and schools today? Well, first take school uniform. When I was at school in the 1960s and 1970s, everybody wore school uniform. And 40 years ago, the rules for school uniform were very strict. Today, many schools don't have a uniform. Students wear their own clothes. But some schools still have a uniform. It's usually 
trousers or a skirt for the girls, a shirt, a tie and a jacket. What other differences are there between schools today and when you were a student? In the 1960s and 1970s, students were at school from the age of five to usually 15 or 16. Now nearly all students stay at school until they're 18. And today, about 30% of students go to university. In my day, it was about 7%. So that's a big difference. What other differences are there? My favourite subject was PE, physical education. I played hockey in the winter and tennis in the summer. And boys and girls did exercise in the gym. Today, PE is different. There are more options for students. For example, at my school, some students do yoga and boxing. But PE is important for students. Today, children don't do much exercise. In the 1970s, I walked to school every day and all my friends walked to school or rode their bikes to school. These days, many parents take their children to school by car. In the evening, I played in the street with friends. But these days, a lot of students play video games or watch TV. Many students are fat. This is a serious problem. When I was at school, we ate school dinners. They weren't delicious, but they were good for you. Students these days eat a lot of fast food. Schools are trying to offer healthy food, but it isn't always easy when there's a chip shop round the corner. Did you wear a uniform at school, Annabelle? Yes, I did. What about you? Yes, I wore a uniform too, more or less. The school wasn't very strict. Estricta. So, what's the answer to the question? At what age do most pupils leave school today? Listen again. Now nearly all students stay at school until they're 18. Nearly all pupils stay at school until they're 18. Hasta los 18. So most pupils leave school at 18. That's right, 18. Then a lot of them, over 30%, 30%, go to university. That's right. Well, that's the end of today's programme. We hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, goodbye. Goodbye.